Welcome to TechLogix. In this video tutorial, we'll guide you on how to find a TP-Link VJI IP camera using your mobile phone. We'll cover activating the camera and setting a custom IP address without needing a PC or laptop. This method will enable you to find the VJI camera's IP address and seamlessly integrate it with your network storage or streaming device. To begin, connect the camera to your LAN network, such as a modem or router, and power it on. Next, download and install the VJI app on your smartphone or tablet. Open the Google Play Store, for Android devices, or the Apple App Store, for iOS devices. In the search bar, type VJI and look for the app developed by TP-Link Systems Incorporated. Tap on the app icon to view its page, then click on the Install button. The installation may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Ensure you have a stable Wi-Fi or mobile data connection for a quick download. Once installed, open the VJI app to start the setup process. Upon launching, you'll be prompted to review the terms of use and privacy policy and to allow notification permissions. Once you open the app and read the intro and features, the login screen may appear. You can proceed by either logging in with your existing TP-Link ID or creating a new account. If you already have a TP-Link ID, simply enter your credentials to log in. If you're new to the service, tap on Create a TP-Link ID to register. However, for this process, finding the IP camera's IP address, activating the camera, and modifying the IP address, you do not need to log into your TP-Link account. You can skip the login step for now. To find the camera's IP address within your LAN network, tap the VME icon at the bottom of the app, then select Local Devices. During this process, ensure that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the camera. Only then will the app be able to list the VJI cameras on your network. To list the devices on the same LAN, tap the plus symbol or add devices, then select Auto Discover. The app will then scan and display the IP cameras, NVRs, and other VJI devices connected to your network. The discovered cameras will be listed, along with their IP addresses. You can use this IP address to add your NVR or other devices. To activate or initialize a device, select it from the list and click the Add button. You will then be redirected to set a password for the device. Setting the password activates the device and allows you to seamlessly integrate it with your other communication devices. In the Password and Confirm Password fields, enter your own password twice. Make sure your password contains a capital letter, characters, numbers, and symbols for added security. Additionally, Enter your email address, which will help you reset your password if you forget it. Once you've entered all the required details, click the Save button. This will take you to the next page, where you need to select your country based on your current location. Additionally, choose your appropriate time zone from the list. After making these selections, tap the Next button to proceed. You may need to click Next again to complete the setup process. With the camera successfully added, you will now be able to view the live feed locally. You can also access device details, adjust general settings, and perform other basic configurations. This allows you to monitor your camera in real time and manage its settings conveniently through the app. By default, VJI cameras have their IP addresses configured in DHCP mode. This means that the camera dynamically obtains an IP address from the network's DHCP server, such as your router. While this setup simplifies initial connectivity, it can lead to the IP address changing each time the camera is rebooted or the network is refreshed. If you want a consistent and reliable IP address for easier access and management, setting a static IP is recommended. To modify the IP address settings, open the VJI app and navigate to the VME section. From there, select IP Modify to access the network configuration options. Next, choose the device you wish to configure and tap on the Verify button. You will be prompted to enter the device password, use the password you set earlier during the initial setup. This verification process ensures you have proper authorization to make changes to the device's network settings. Once verified, 
the IP Modify page will open. Here, disable the DHCP option to switch from dynamic to static IP mode. You can then manually enter your preferred IP address, gateway, and other network details according to your setup. After entering the information, click the Modify button to save the settings. You may be prompted to skip and continue to finalize the change. A success message will confirm the new IP address has been assigned, and the updated IP will be listed on the screen. To complete the process, tap Complete, and your camera will now operate with a fixed IP address, ensuring consistent access and management. An additional standout feature of the VGI app is the Devices on LAN option. By opening this feature, the app will list all networking devices connected to the same LAN network. This includes not only VGI devices but also other non-VGI devices. The list displays each device's name and its IP address, making it easier to identify and manage all devices within your network. For those interested in exploring the app further, we provide in-depth explanations of these features in additional segments of this video series. These tutorials aim to help you maximize the potential of the VGI app and effectively manage all your connected devices. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to create more valuable content and resources for our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated and helps us continue providing useful tutorials and insights.